The time has come, my friends. It is finally time to play Desperate Measures. We have to talk to Theron and uh, Berthorpe. Okay, that's an odd place to start. I wonder why there. Let's go. But yeah, I can't wait to see what this quest has to offer. It's going to be fun, I think. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the whole meeting and everything. Okay, it's starting to come back to me a little bit now. Well, everybody's here. Let's do it. We can't just keep sitting here waiting for something to happen. Carepack has stolen the needle uh, right from under us. If only someone had spoken up about his inevitable uh, betrayal and encouraged us to follow a path of peace. Oh, like you did? Oh, wait. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, wow. They're calling each other out already. That's not a good start. Everyone, please be calm. Sorry, yes, you're right. Yeah, now is not the time for infighting. Correct. Okay. Yeah, but obviously there are still some issues like between all of these uh, factions. Maybe this whole storyline will draw us together eventually. Uh, one would hope, right? So. We need to work out what Carefax's plan is before we can stop him. Aaron is right, that that needs to be our focus. Yep. So it's kind of all or nothing here. But the question is, what is he doing, obviously? Okay. Okay, why do you have to talk to me? Why not, like, in front of everybody? What is going on? Is it just me, or is everyone acting a little off? Her aura. Oh, okay, interesting. So she has an aura, and because we're the world guardian, the world guardian, it doesn't um, mess with us at all. Like it messes up with them. So uh, that makes total sense here. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure everything's working. It looks like we're good to go. So let's do it. Oh, that's why they agreed so quickly. Okay. It wasn't totally clear at first, but now that she's explained it like it is a lot better, so. Yeah, that's not so good. Yeah, so it really, yeah, we need her to be somewhere else and, like, communicate, like, with us from a distance, really, I guess. Even gods make mistakes. Clearly, yeah, we know that from experience. We are facing the ultimate uh, destruction of all life on Gilinar, possibly the universe. I'm not mortal, so... Yeah, I wonder, like, like what would happen to the gods if... Like, are gods, can, like, are they life, I guess? Are they in danger, too? But they're not mortal, so how can they die if they're, like, immortal? But with each day that passes, the stronger they are bound to me. Okay? So we're trying to take him out now, before he can really start his plan. Okay. Do it. I already have the Orphan Glass. The measure, I do have it. So if I have completed Fate of the Gods. So it's kind of odd that that is actually optional. If you need the item for it. Maybe you get it anyway. Okay, so a level 91 opponent. Very long. That's why I had to, to uh, start this a little later so I'd have time to do the entire thing in one go. Except. What do I need to do? Um, Thok and Karos. Okay, so they're tracking him down. Okay. So, Karos has uh, found his hideout. So I have to go help them. Yeah, I want to know his plan. If we can understand what he's up to, yeah, we'll be able to counter it if we need to. Basically, yep. Or if he's right, help him out. 
You should head to Anacrony and speak with Mr. Mordell. Okay. Good luck, World Guardian. Eleanor's fate is in your hands. Okay. So I guess we're just going to head straight to Anacronia and see what he's up to. How can I help you? Theron says you might know where Karos and Thok are. Ah oh, yes, those two. Strange pair. I swear, they were about to re uh, ready to kill one another. <laughs> I can imagine, honestly. Yep. Very accurate. They were asking about the Dragonkin ruins here on the island. Northwest towards the ruin by the volcano. So I was right. It was uh, the volcano area is where we have to head. They should still be there if you hurry. Alright. Alright guys, so I um, went to the wrong area at first. But I finally found him north of the base camp. They mentioned northwest, so I went west first. and like I needed had to go north first. But we're here now, so let's go ahead and talk to Thok. I don't see... See Karos anywhere, so I wonder uh, where he is. Oh wait, I'm just blind. <laughs> He's right here. Sorry, I was reading the dialogue. So Thok really missed me. Thok really missed me, apparently. Carlos. Wait, he called him Carlos or something? I think. I think he called him Carlos. I didn't really see it, so. <laughs> but, like, angry wolf cub. If you try to pet me again, I will enchant you so that you think you're a duck. <laughs> I'll go make a mighty duck. <laughs> okay. Oh, honk, of course. Obviously a reference Cut out this dialogue because of the dog Obviously a reference to uh, The goose game Okay, help me kill him <laughs> No, no a little crab toss <laughs> This dialogue has like Raven written all over it. I think mod Raven That many times. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it's supposed to work. Okay, back on track here. Buck has a mighty tell. Hey, would you like to hear it? Okay, let's hear it. Is it voice? That night, Doc arrived on the island. Doc was alone uh, on an island full of uh, monstrous creatures around every corner. Alone? <laughs> what am I, invisible? So he's kind of also changing the story to make him look strong and all that. <laughs> Thok, sorry, Thok left you out. That's better, I. Thok was alone apart from scrawny little <laughs> Karos, who was overcome by terrible fear. Wait. Oh, I can move the camera. <laughs> oh, he's level one, too. That's that's a brilliant touch. I wanted a record that uh, this that uh, did not happen. <laughs> There's no shame in being scared. Yeah, okay. Okay, you ride on the island. Along with a stick. What even is a stick? Um, he set out to explore the island. So we are playing his story. I love how Karos is a level one. That's brilliant. Like a bunny kitten. <laughs> okay. So we can kind of examine things. Oh, that's weird. I saw the option. Why are you looking at this? <laughs> okay. I saw like a thing, like a like an option to examine a stick or something. I thought anyway. An easy plant. Okay, that's missing a period at the end. So hey, we already found a typo. All right. Let's continue the main story here. Doc stopped. 
So that's a dino, obviously. He heard a noise. Okay. I don't think it's Carapac. I think it's just the uh, dinos. So it's time to fight. <laughs> that's actually awesome. I want a Thok Override now. Scrawny Man is no fun. <laughs> I love, like, this interplay. Monster is attacked. Big bloody lizard. <laughs> oh, come on. They weren't that big. <laughs> and it's pretty close. Okay, okay, less enormous, but still a lizard. <laughs> okay. Oh, the puns are awful, guys. <laughs> Alright. Now we obviously have to take them out, right? Let's examine one. Instant kill. I love that. Daka could wear one of these as a hat, a scaly hat. <laughs> Instant kill. Oh, they all had different examines. I, yeah, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, it's too slow. So we took him out. We're talk to unleash the right one. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of uh, like devolving here. Talk explored. Okay, so they want us to go, obviously. Arrow, so you interrupted him for one. They had a purpose. Okay, so they wanted to, to try to make up for what happened last time. Okay. So the storm stopped. Wow, yeah, they are not uh, getting along whatsoever. Oh yeah, it is hilarious though. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> That's what yeah, let's just leave that one alone. I'm not even gonna mention it. This place is wrong, like it's not meant to be here. So obviously we are in the past, I think, on this island. It has like a spell over it or some kind of a thing over it. So he used the, the needle to time travel, basically. It's It sounds like here. Okay. So obviously it's important to him. So we're in the past, I guess, like in Gilnor's history, maybe? Question is, why are the, the dinos here, I guess, in the first place? Oh, two more. I think it's big, but Thok is bigger. Takes scarier things out of his belly button. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's one more, too. Cute little gecko. Okay. Yeah, fuck. I own him in one hit. Okay. I love the music, though. Oh! That was an accident. Oh, wait, what? It wasn't until we reached the base camp that we learned anything uh, valuable anyway. I didn't mean to skip. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but it was a little confusing. So I can actually skip some of his, like, just dialogue if I want to. We discovered an ancient ruin that had once belonged to the beast we saw. It. Monsters by the name of the Dragon Kings. Oh, the Ken. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. He's alive yet because he's crazy strong, basically.
I would love to see him like a, like legit to go up against a god or something and see how he would do. Okay, so this place, this home of monsters, uh, had become home to others. Brave explorers had sailed to the island before us. So we're not the first ones here, okay. But but they all died, I'm guessing, right? Hmm. Wait. Oh, I need to go this way. Oh, it's the Slayer Master. Oh, no. Is he in love already? Like, instantly? Yeah. Totally in love with her. <laughs> oh, he's... Okay, did you hear that, ladies? He is now single. <laughs> Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. We were from two different worlds. Quite literally. <laughs> Yeah, so he's in love with the new Slayer Master. Oh, uh, yeah. She would never say this. I can guarantee it. Oh, that's funny, though. Yeah, exactly. He's having his own little fantasy here. It's great. So, he's looking for Karapak. So, a darkness here. That begins in the heart of the island and then spreads out. Who else? It could be Karapak? Oh. I, I don't know if it's him or not. Like, it's interesting to talk about or think about for sure. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to read this. <laughs> so, thought kind of changed it because he's nervous to talk to her so he just spreading it out all at once I uh, want to go chat in the main camp please okay so hi or s yeah I guess so that may be another typo I don't know oh wait no it's please okay also hi okay <laughs> so he's nervous around the ladies. I get it, dude. Anyway, we went to the camp. I guess I have to follow her? I like how I, like, I have to actually follow her. I like, just adds a little extra element into the quest, you know, a little extra fun. So when he got here, a terrible darkness filled the air. It was heavy. Okay, it, they keep, like, uh, getting derailed a little bit too much. I love the humor, but there's almost too much of it here. It needs to be more focused on what's actually happening. Um, less, like, little uh, things, you know. Wait, is Karos here? I see the little text here. I don't see Karos anywhere. Or, or Charos, however you say it. Like, I've always thought it was, uh, Karos. So. Anyway. Then Karapak arrived. Oh, wow. It just ran into it. Wahahaha. Evil laugh. The evil Karapak. Okay, so Thok challenged him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, I do I like this, but I feel like it's too comedy-focused when, like, the world is at stake. It's a bit too much humor, uh, like, in my opinion. But, like, it's not terrible. I'm not complaining too much. It's not that bad. But, yeah, it is a little too comedic for the situation at hand. You interrupted Thok, and he lost his train of thought. Okay. Here we are again. Okay. 
I'll catch you now. Doc will uh, destroy you. Okay, yeah, he did not say this clearly. Do not destroy me. Okay, yeah. Soon my machine will be restored. Okay, so he's using a machine to destroy the world, I guess. It shall be the end of the world. So evil laugh, ha ha ha. Yeah, monologue. Got it. Okay, so a machine is, it will destroy the world if we don't stop him. So he went into the, the volcano. Okay. So not much really in that whole story other than humor. But uh, it's a good way to pull people in, I guess. But that villain that did not know what Sok knows. Moku and Sok together. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, I'm kind of with my character. I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> that was a long tale for, um, like, one that to be that easy. So, yeah. It's kind of obvious with the statues and the doors and stuff. Oh, it's been a few weeks. Okay. So, the quest that we had last year... Like in real life, it like is only a couple weeks after the first one. Time is of the essence. Yes, it is. What do you know about this island? Yep, time travel, clearly. It's an island torn out of time. Yep. Question is why? So he believes it is Orthan. Okay. I do know from Jagex themselves that they are releasing a new dig site, uh, like on Orthan. So this island is actually Orthan. Okay. Or the kingdom uh, was called Orthan, so obviously there is a dig site here somewhere. Um, so he believes that the dragonkin uh, we know now are quite different from the dragonkin that built this place. So, maybe here is where they became enslaved to the uh, the Stone of Jazz. That's my guess anyway, is something happened here in the past that bound them to the stone. And it led to where we are now. And now he's trying to obviously uh, reverse that, probably. To the Archaeology Guild, yep. So it's tied into Archaeology. Look around the ruins. Oh, okay, so I have to actually train. That's interesting. Okay, so we have to actually do a little excavating here. That's kind of cool. Um, trying to see where there's any excavation spots. Um, all right. I guess we'll start exploring here. I, like, I don't see any obvious places. Let's look here. Near the entrance. Okay. All right, here we go, I guess. I only see one spot so far. I wish it was easier to tell. I guess it kind of is with the animation. It's supposed to help, but... Okay. Do I have to get the actual artifact? Yeah, okay. Well, I wish I would have known that because I wouldn't have like brought all these items with me, but that's okay. We'll see how long it takes. And done. It just takes one. I can't fix it here though, which is kind of annoying. Do I really have to go all the way back? I have to repair it. There's no uh, stupid... Uh... Oh, I can actually head in... Oh no, I can't go in the temple. 
Well, that's kind of lame. Do I have to really go all the way back to the Archaeology Guild to come back here? Fine. Okay, here we are. There's your device. What we needed. Okay, so I'm guessing it like opens up the uh, door. So it doesn't know what it means, but we found it. Okay. This is part of a larger puzzle. So I have to find another spot. Okay. I guess it's right here now? I swear this wasn't here earlier. Okay, it's a tablet. Okay. Okay, we are back now. Yeah, we just finished the uh, tablet. Let's turn it in. Yeah, I swear like these spots are disappearing after you... Uh... Yeah, see, it's not here anymore. So they vanish after you dig up the item. This is... Okay, oh, this is old dragon kin. Okay. So it's... Some sort of uh, writing is on it, apparently. Okay. Okay, let's see. So we have an expert. So Mordo, right? Oh, wait. The last dragon rider. Okay, that was the guy... Okay, so someone else is here who can help us out. So, yeah, we have to go to the the ranch out of time now. Okay. So Hannibus is here now. Okay, cool. All right, now let's go speak to Hannibus. Um, I need to go to the farm and. Teleport uh, uh, over. Let's see. Where is Hannibus? Oh, here he is. Hello there. So he wanted to come back to Gilinor. Okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> he was a shepherd. Okay. Young Mrs. Potterington? Uh oh, it's her little romance uh, brewing here as well. First Thok and now a uh, Hannibus. <laughs> oh no. I can just imagine, like, Raven's voice uh, voicing this. Yeah, okay. okay let's not even uh, get into that. Okay, he wants to raise up some dinos then, I guess? Yeah, we're gonna let him translate the writing. Okay. Multiple dragonkin paths. Okay, so a third group, the Nodon, or Noden. They tried to sleep through it. So they are sleeping, trying to sleep through the curse. Ruins to the northeast of the island. Interesting, okay. So we have to go meet him over to the northeast. Um, I do not need the measure. I don't know if I have it in my bank. I might have to go grab it real quick. Yeah. Um, let's clear a little more space. Um, there we go. Okay, yeah, we can deposit these as well. So yeah, we're gonna go grab the measure and then I will head over to the northeast. That was a long trip to get here, too. You guys I didn't see any of it, but it took me a good probably 10 minutes to even get here. Um, so the sleeping dragonkin are in here. 
I don't like remember the other kinds very much, but I'm sure if I like like this I saw them, I would recognize them. There was a fourth dragonkin type or whatever. Okay, yeah, they're all factions. Okay, got it. I like how he kind of, uh, like, that tells you a little a bit about the uh, past of these factions. Okay, it needs a key, which is obviously the device here, I think. Okay. On this door? Okay, it worked, I think. I still have the item in my inventory. Okay, how did he get in front of me here if I walked in the door and he was behind me? <laughs> yeah, this is the new dig site, I think, right here, it looks like. Yeah, this is the uh, dig site. Oh, well, I didn't even notice those. Can't really see anything in them. I'm trying to. Oh, you can. That's kind of cool. Hey, there you go. Why aren't they showing up here? You, like you don't notice them at all unless you actually go inside the uh, thing. It is cool though how they're actually there. This is the hibernation chamber of them. Okay. They are dreaming and and also connected. Oh, we're gonna join their dream. Hold on. Let's look around a little bit. I, like I had no time to even check for anything here. So what levels are we talking about? Ah, uh, you have to complete the class. That's kind of lame. All right. I guess there's nothing else we can really do here. What's this? Oh. Yeah, I'm guessing we have to translate. Wait, hold on. What is that up there? I see, like, symbols. Do I have to match? I'm guessing this is a puzzle for later. None of these look right. That looks right, but maybe backwards. Uh, that's backwards of what's up here. I don't know if I need to be messing around with this or not. I really don't know. No, cause that's all of them. Okay. Obviously, yeah, we need to learn a little more first. But that is cool how they're actually in there. What about the broken one over here? That one is empty. Oh. That one is empty. Let's see? This one? Uh, it's hard to get the camera to line up here. Okay, I don't see any in that one. I don't see anything in this one. There's one here and one here, but that's it. That's a, like that's interesting. So there's only two left here that are alive, maybe. All right, enough messing around. Let's hop into the uh, dream here. Do it. Okay, so this looks identical. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can do here. I'm guessing. Oh, here they are. Um, if we're like trying to go under cover here, why are we like right behind them? Do I have to, like, sneak by them? I think I do. I'm going to try to stay out of sight here as much as I can. I'm guessing, like, that's what I'm supposed to do. But, I like, I have no clue, obviously, so... 
Feels like we just have to be stealthy. Where do we even go? Oh, there's a doorway. Okay. The skybox looks really cool. I'm trying to watch the dialogue as well. Turn that on in case. Okay, Hepin Tyrone. Okay, hopefully our character uh, like remembers that because it's gonna be hard otherwise. Oh, I have to do it now. So, we just have to stay hidden, I think. Uh, closer look. At what? Where are the symbols? I'm a little confused by that. I, like, I didn't notice any. Is there a place I have to click? Five hours later. Okay, guys, I couldn't figure out anything with that other guy, but maybe with this one, and maybe I just have to watch the other um, caretaker. That's my guess, anyway. Because I couldn't find anything with the other guy who went outside. So we're going to watch the, this other one here. So yeah, let's watch uh, this guy and see what he does, and then we'll uh, go from there. I'm right here because I couldn't tell. I'm guessing down there he let the the other guy in, but I'm not positive. I wish it wasn't so long. I wish he could like speed it along somehow. Is this it? Oh, he must be down below. Yeah, yeah, okay. Take a look here. So it's like the weird two. Um, so how do I describe this? Two, the A. A, like with a J on it, and then... Then an E. Two, the A thing, and then the E. Got it. I think that might be it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. So we're going to do that first. So, go ahead and do this. There's the two thing. That's the A. Two. Okay, good. It tells you if you get it right. So I don't have to mess around forever trying to figure out if I like, like messed up one. Oh yeah, that's good. There's the A and then the backwards E. Okay. Okay, now we have to go outside, clearly, and um, open up the other door. And then I don't know what is next. So, let's see. Go around here. Once I got it, it wasn't bad, but I had to figure out how to get that to work. Um, but yeah, like, it wasn't too bad, though. It, like, it was mostly my own fault for not getting it there. Okay. Okay, I think that's correct. So yeah, let's talk to Hannibus here and see what's next. Oh, it's a different dream. Indra Council.
Okay. So I'm guessing each character has one thing I have to learn from them. There's Hannibus. Talk to him. So they gathered around the pool. Sure. We're all here. Okay. Yeah, that's the leader of the Necro Spirits. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. There's Carapac. Can I tell which are dreamers and which are their memories? Only the two, uh, a Nodon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so they had a different ideas on what to do to handle Jass and the stone and all that. Okay. So experiments with the local fauna led to the the Slayer creatures we have to fight. And I and the big game hunter maybe as well. The Agra is the other kind, right? We have Sirits, Dactyl, the the Agra, and the Nodons. So that's the other group he was talking about. Yeah. There we go. I'm guessing they got lost in the abyss or something. It's hard to say. Okay, so that they changed over time. So they're trying to find... Okay, so they're trying to... Um... A, to survive um, with Jazz, so just like uh, we are now. So I'm guessing it's like history uh, repeating itself. They wiped them out, like enslaved them, you know, because, they, yeah, they didn't um, uh, prove their worth. Um, so the, the same thing that might happen to us if we don't. So, okay. So yeah, that's what happened, I'm guessing. Okay, it's explaining a lot of the history of what's going on right now. So I like actually I really like it so far. So he's trying to match their power, so they have to respect him um, and all that, so it's all starting to make it make a sense here. Okay, new kind of energy. Shadow Anima. So that's what he's trying to do. Yeah, okay. We're learning a lot here. This explains a lot. So he's getting yeah, really aggressive with, with how he's trying to do it, so we'll see what happens here. So they all kind of agree to disagree, other than Care Pack, it sounds like. Yeah, okay, he's playing along. Okay. Shadow Anima.
is okay. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, okay. They found us here, obviously. So one's an elder and one's a fledgling, so like a younger one. Yeah, Hannibal said this is all on you. No other meetings. Okay, so yeah, he turned on everybody. I see. Yep, so... Are they gonna uh, wake up and help us? Uh-oh. The dragon kin of the Dactyl were well regarded for their scientific prowess, and none were as renowned as Karapak. It was to riotous applause that Karapak unveiled his latest invention, a device he promised would spark a new dawn of dragonkin science, a machine capable of generating limitless power by flooding the world with corruption. The possibilities were endless. He believed that with power of this scale, the dragonkin would rival the creators themselves. Pride precedes a fall. Before Karapak could celebrate his creation, the Elder God's displeasure was made known. Jazz, the eldest of them, laid waste to the Dragonkin cities. In moments, the work of centuries was undone, and the Dragonkin fled oh, okay. in terror. Jazz bound the Dragonkin to the Catalyst, an Elder artifact of great power. That's the huge history wise. Sought the power of the elder gods, and their wish was granted. Pride precedes a fall. Wow, okay, that explains a lot a lot about the dragon ken. Okay. All the music is awesome here as well. Um, so, it, so it's actually Kara Pack's fault that they were cursed in the first place because he tried to stand up to the Elder Gods, basically. Okay. That explains a lot about the Dragon Ken. That's really cool. Uh, good. There you are. They've been studying the island. Yeah, there's a lot here, obviously. A lot is here. Uh-oh, yeah, what's here? Oh, it's Carapac, right? Oh boy, here we go, guys. I hope I'm ready for combat. I didn't bring a lot of gear. He's level 122. Um, they were our builders, architects, and visionaries. Okay. They chose to sleep through it. The music is crazy good here, guys. I love it. Um, let's see. Please, my friend, stop this Madison and work with us. We, uh, we can find another way. Doc just wants to take him out. Do we have to actually fight him? Oh, we do. That's a lot of health. Can we even hurt him? Oh, he's, of course he only attacks me. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. 
I don't want to fight you, per se. Wait, he can't climb the stairs? This is cool, though. Okay, let's just hold on. I'll just let them attack him. Okay, so he controls time with the needle, yeah. Okay, that's what it does, I guess, so. What do we do, then? Okay, here we go. There, you see now? There's nothing you can do to me. So he controls time. So he's not going to destroy us, why? Okay, so he thinks he's doing what he has to. But it, it like, and this is just what happens, I guess, as a byproduct. So he doesn't want to kill us, but he wants to destroy the world, which will kill us anyway. Okay. It is only a matter of time uh, before their eggs hatch. So are the gods in eggs then? The elder gods are in eggs? Okay. So that's what happened last time, I guess, to the dragon kin. Okay, I get what he's like, where he's coming from, I guess, in a way, but he's also kind of blind to any other uh, way to do it. So he wants us to not try to stop him. He wants us to um, take our fate, I guess. Okay. It's very ominous, for sure. He's telling us to spend our last moments with our family and stuff and not even try to stop him. So that's it, then. Perhaps um, yeah, we could evacuate some of the population. Well, Hannibus? Hey, what about hope and all that? <laughs> that's what he was uh, just talking about. Oh, the music again is really, yeah, really good in this quest so far. Yeah, he's Vindicta's um, father. No, we can't give up. Yeah, we're the world guardian. No, we can't just give up on the world. Yeah, I've stood up to like like everything, uh, pretty much at this point. I love the little uh, touch of the music. I think, it, like, what would be really cool if this is, like, an in-game story is to have the RuneScape theme play. Like, an epic version of it. It'd be really cool to have that happen um, eventually. Yeah. Yeah, we would never give in. Like, it's our job to protect the world. If we, if we give up, it, like, we're not doing our job. Wow, Thok is, like, trying to give us a pep talk. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, the only way he guarantees victory if he... Uh, is if we give up. So we, yeah, we have to f find a way around his abilities. Thok's fist. <laughs> Knowledge. Okay, so... So Karos uh, will be here. So Hannibus... He's gonna learn from the Nodon. So what's my job? Theron. Fuck you, uh... Punch some dinosaurs. They might know something. <laughs> oh, I love his humor. Okay, meet the back at the base camp. Got it. So to Berthorp.
Okay, so let's see. I forget where the actual thing is. Honestly, guys, I don't remember where to go. <laughs> in the castle? Okay, good. Yeah, it was right. Theron, where are you? Yes, what news have you brought us? Can we stop him? Yeah, that is a loaded question. Yep. And now he's unbeatable. Uh, directly, at least. Yeah, makes sense, though. It's almost unstoppable. Okay, so we need to learn more about the needle, then. Primrose. Oh, yeah, the girl from the uh, that quest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I have to go see her, and that is way up. Um, I think it's up here, isn't it? It's like its own little um like area way to the west. Yep, there's uh, Primrose. How can I help you? Ask about the needle. No one should have that power. Does it have any weaknesses? Not that I know of. Well, that doesn't help at all. Huh. So it has a will of its own. Oh, okay. So how do we use that to our uh, advantage? So it's intelligent. So, like, you can't change fate, I imagine. And that's its weakness. Um, let's see. Is that it, I guess? Let me see if there's anything else I need to do. Nope, okay, yeah, so I need to go through some more dialogue, maybe. So I've done, um, I guess we'll do this one. But it's not all bad, okay. I do miss Gale a bit. Ask about Gale. Was she vulnerable to her? Okay, well. Nope. Okay. He was tied to the needle. Yeah, there's another typo. He had typo number two. And number two guys if we're counting. We were attached by the soul. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to, obviously. Okay, I think that's uh, like that's enough of the dialogue. Back to Birthorp once again. Okay. Speak to Saren. So he's just explaining yeah, what we already learned. No other choice. Okay, so what's our option? 
We, yeah, we will need to speak to its creator. Speak to Jazz. Wait, is it Jazz? Okay, wow, and it has to be me, of course. An audience with Jazz. Oof, okay, this sounds like it's gonna be a combat uh, thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Got the meter at the heart, which is God Wars 2. Okay, let's go gear up. Is Theron here? Dude, where is she? Maybe I missed her upstairs. I didn't even see her at all, so. Probably my own fault. Yep, okay. There she is. Spoken with my aunt. She is willing to, to listen to what we have to say. Be careful with your tone. If you say the wrong thing... Okay, so I gotta be careful. Got it. So no joking around here. Let's do it. Ah, uh, here we are again. Speak. Um, here a pack. Has taken the control of an elder artifact, the needle. Used it to bring a version of Orthan, a dragonkin island to north of here, three times. He sealed himself away in the volcano in his old lair. Okay, yeah, it's just telling her exactly. Yes. Wait. Know all of this? Yes. <laughs> Can you intervene? Okay. Why not? Yeah, let's not say anything against her, like, weakness-wise. Oh, I didn't realize how the, the little things in her face, or his face, move. That's really cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Anyway. The Dragonkin is defended. Okay, so... They can't hurt him if he has that stuff around him. Interesting. It is toxic. Anathema? Yeah, that's not... It, it, yeah, that's not anything you want to say here. Tell me about the barrier. We know that much. It's... The presence is anathema. Cannot abide. Do not misunderstand. Our inaction is now a kindness. We can still uh, remove him if we must. But the island will be uh, removed with it. it okay, so it's going to end up killing us anyway. Yeah, okay, I got I got you. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, like, what else is there? Can it be stopped? Yes. Ow. It can be unmade. Oh, okay. Or it can be deactivated. We can assume control. But we must be in its presence. So he doesn't let them. Can I assume control? Can I take over the needle? No, you cannot. Okay. It's because I'm the player. I can't. That would be too easy. Okay. 
Um, let's see. That was the needle. We already asked about Carapac. Uh... Why were you angry about Shadow Anima? It's toxic. Okay. It is anathema. Yeah, there's that word again. To this uh, universe and our, our design. Okay. What did the curse do to them? Okay. So, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Oh, okay. So now we know how they're linked exactly. It causes them pain anytime. Like it's used for anything. So yeah, they used pain to control them, basically. So it made them stronger, but also they felt more pain, I guess. Okay. Make them useful. Okay. Um, how much more do I have to ask? Uh, can you help? If I find a way to get through the barrier to get to Kara Pack directly, is there anything uh, you can do? Yes. Bring this to the Dragon Ken. It will correct the mistake. The Eye of Jazz, okay. What will it do? It will, okay, so it takes the control away from him. Then the Elder Gods will come in, I guess, and clean up. Damage to the island will be minimal. If you act quickly. Okay. So act now, or uh, we will, and that will destroy everybody anyway, so. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, so, so we know what we need to do here. I think. Yep. So it is a gift from the Elder Gods. Keep it with you. Okay. Um, do I need to get ready for a fight here? Because I like I'm like it does feel like uh, we're heading toward the ending part of the uh, game. So I think. I'll be okay, I don't know. I guess we'll just uh, try it and see what happens. I'm kind of worried about my space now, though. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we got a little done. Wait, is he okay? Pain and fear around us. This isn't good. Oh, uh, okay, Carapax here, maybe? Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I'm trying to look around. He's not anywhere I can see. Cutscene? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of my job, Carapac. <laughs> no choice. Yeah, so he's not, like, 
angry with us. It's like, he is an interesting villain because he's not trying for world domination or anything. He's trying to protect the Dragonkin and to free them from the curse of the stone. The curse of the Elder Gods. So, it is an interesting, di like, dynamic here. It's not like, like a typical, like, hero and villain, um, thing going on, so... Yep, I've chosen to fight. Oh, uh, so he was. So he will try to kill me here. I have turned the creatures of this island towards this camp. Uh oh. Okay, so we're going to be attacked by dinos. What is this, a Jurassic Park? <laughs> so he's a. You're giving me, uh, time here. Okay. Well, yeah, we're in for it now, guys. Talk to him when you are ready. I guess I'm ready. Oh, wait, what? Okay, well, in that case... Oh, that's the bait box. I need to go bank, I guess. I'll go ahead and pause at my... Well, 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 hold on. I don't want to deposit my weapon, exactly. Um, I'll deposit that. Um, okay. Um, I guess we'll unequip our weapon for now. I guess I'm ready. Okay, it's better. Okay. Do I have to actually wield it? Or is it just like automatically? Okay. Oh, it's like waves. I hear it too. We have to get out. Okay. We have to protect the base camp. So it's like a, uh... Firebolt. Um... Oh, I see. Um... Furthest away... Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, strongest creatures, unless you tell me otherwise. Okay. Uh, so each character has a different thing. Oh, I have to move him. I guess I'll put him right here. Bombs. Okay. She's furthest away. Falcon needs to be the closest. Falcon's strongest. Okay. This is a bit confusing. Okay, so they're gonna... I'm a little confused. We have... To... Okay, we can direct them around. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I can't... Okay, I, I do have time to figure it out. So you're doing the farthest away. Let's have him, I guess, I guess, uh, in the herd. He's doing the strongest, he's doing the weakest, doing range, and you are gonna be there. I guess that's good enough. We'll have to figure this out, clearly. Okay. 
Okay, I see him coming from this direction. I'm looking for other dots to appear, but I don't see any right now. Oh, I can't even attack? What? Why? Let's move Thok over here, I guess, with him. Oh, that's kind of cool. I have to direct everybody. Like, I wish I could actually attack, though. Okay, hey, why can't I help? It's kind of a lame that I'm not doing anything. Let's put her over here as well. Okay. I want her behind them. I'm looking for others. I don't see any, though. Wave 2. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we have to protect the archaeologist as well. Okay, I, I get it. I'm going to put her right here. Why are they walking? I'll leave these two here. They're a good team together. Let's put Karos over here as well. Get him, Karos. Attack. Like, it's so lame how I can't even attack. I get it. Karos here. Put her over here as well. Okay. I think we're doing okay so far. I don't see... Oh, wait, wait. Karos. Right here. And a KO over here. And the dock over... No, I'll leave him there. I think that's the way to do it, probably. Okay. So we're going to have to move one of these over. Oh crap, what am I doing? It's so hard to know what to do. I think we're doing okay, though. Kill them already. What are you targeting? Like, why can't I help? It's kind of annoying how I can't even help right now. Put Doc over here for the moment. These are the weaker ones. To an extent. Care Pack can stay there and handle those. Okay. Eros over here as well. Talk over here. Let's actually put Karos down here. Oh, I am attacking as well, I see. Talk over here now. Oh, this is tough. That one's almost dead. We can't heal at all? This is a bit weird to me. Okay, I am attacking. I kind of get it now, I think. It took me a bit to figure it out, though. Fuck, get over there. Put you over here as well for now. He's gonna kill that archaeologist, though. Ah, crap. Almost. That's kind of cool. I like it, but it's kind of annoying. Wait, what? What's going on? Ah, oh, I made it to wave 5. I think I have to start over again. Probably. One eternity later. Okay, let's go over here. I think we got him stuck. Yeah, maybe that's the trick. Are we good? I don't see any others. Hearing noises. Okay. Finally got through that, guys. I didn't know I could trap them. If I would have known that, I would have just stood them in front.
Oh, whoa. Okay, an ID here. Come meet me at the volcano entrance. It's time up. Oh, we take the fight to Karapak, I think. Okay, so that's what I needed to do to progress. Okay, so now we have to head over to the volcano entrance. Entrance here, which is up to the north. I have to go to the ruins, and the ruins are kind of scattered everywhere, I think, right? That's what it feels like. Where are you? There he is. Doc thought it was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't the great, the greatest. Uh... I think he's, he doesn't think, like, he's not, like, he's complicated. I don't really know what's, like, do I defend him or do I uh, condemn him? I don't think he's all bad. He's in there somewhere. Yeah, I can understand where he's coming from. I kind of can, too, in a way. Yeah, he finally freed the, uh, slavery. Yeah, totally, I agree with that, like, 100%. I guess you're not under the control now of the Elder Gods, and that's why he's doing this. Yeah, exactly. But it's not an excuse. I kind of get that too. Just stop him or we all die. See? So he has an idea here. Cosmic energy. Okay. Use the ruins around the volcano to determine what the resonance, the required resonance will be, so that I can add a little noise to the harmony. The measure. Okay, that's where the, uh, that comes in. Got it. <laughs> yep. Okay, areas have a particular strong magical resonance. Come, come find me and use the measure to track down the frequencies. Okay. It'll work, trust me. Visit the ruins around the volcano and look for me. Use the measure next to me. Okay, so it's just traveling around and using it next to him. I'll see you at the sites. Okay. Is there one here, by chance? Uh, well, okay, I guess so. So we just place the measure next to him. Yep. Okay, so he's trying to pick the lock to his lab, basically. Okay. Okay, it's acting weird. It's only one sample. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know if I'll show all of this, but, but I'll be traveling around and finding all the spots. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I think we're at our last spot here. I tried that other temple way to the east, and he wasn't there. Yeah, right here. Um, so, yeah, you guys that didn't miss too much during all his explanations. Um, but he did look at us weird, and I think it's because he could tell that that a Sliske is within us or around us, you know, from the other quest. It's like a hint for that, I think. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this is our last spot. Okay, so he now has enough information to unlock Karapak's lab. Did you notice how the cosmic energy readings seem to change as we observe? Yep. He's mentioned that like every time that we've found one of these spots. Closer I got. Oh. Is it because of like like a Sliske's tie to the shadows and ch like shadow magic? I wonder. 
Back to the entrance. Okay. Oh, it just... Oh, I know he left. So I have to actually go all the way back now. Okay. I think he meant the base camp. I think. I think they're up here, right? Probably, at least. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're all here. I think we're getting close to the end, guys. I don't know how close we are, but it does feel pretty close. Okay, so about the World Guardian gift. Yeah, he's been talking about, like, magic, like, like magic uh, theories and how it's tied to anima and all that kind of a stuff. Um, as well during this part. Magic is the, the, the uh, manipulation of anima. Okay, we already know that. Let us borrow the power set out by the Elder Gods in order to reorder the, the universe. Yeah, it's all around us. Yeah, we already know that. It's like the life energy of the planet, basically. Yep. I oh, spoke about souls, about how they're containers of anima. Yeah, he mentioned that as well. And yeah, my soul is different. He also gave me something else. Shadow Anima. No, that's Sliske. That is not uh, Guthix, I think. Oh, and that's why... Wait, no, I guess... Wait, no, it's right. Like, he asked me to be right. Because I already had that way, like, way ahead of when the Sliske and all that happened. So... When he, like, uh, like, hid, like, like, part of me, it's, like, inside of him, I think, it's in Endgame. I don't remember the exact story, but, yeah. So, so that's why the gods can't, can't, like, affect me at all. It's actually really cool. So it's helping, yeah, I got it. What's the bad news? Yeah, that is true. I'm mutating. That would be interesting. <laughs> okay. Like this little bar barrier here. Oh, yeah. so, so the lab is uh, like right here at the base camp. Okay. So they can't cross, but I can. Okay. Okay, so I have to turn off the barrier to let them in, more or less. Huh. Okay. I'm kind of worried, but if we're going to hop in, I guess, uh, like, worst case, I can teleport out as we need to. Uh, let's do it, guys. Yeah, we're in the end game here of this quest. Yeah, you guys may want to back up here. They're going to protect the entrance. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is awesome, guys. Quest has been really fun. Oh, that's the machine. Okay. Oh, the music again. The question is, where is Carapac?
Just trying to see what's going on here. This is really cool and well done. I like it. Um, let's see. Dragonkin sign. Okay, so I gotta solve a puzzle here, clearly. But I need to figure out how to... Like, what do I need to solve it first? Hmm. Trying to see. I didn't miss anything. I'm worried about, like, missing stuff. Symbol. I don't see any, like, red dot on the mini-map. Oof. Wait. Oh, hold on. Take tablet. Oh boy. Tenra. Tenra. So he used his own pins. Oh, so he's working on the ones who are asleep. He's using them to further his power, basically, of the device. These names have to be important. The code to switch it off being the names of the destroyers, input into pylons in the other chambers. Jazz with the slam class, full with the Chinrath, win with the Buhajipin, yeah, I don't know how to say that, and the Bic within the Kalistrak. Okay, that's his home. Okay. So... I don't know, like, which is which. It's gonna take a while, guys. Wait, anything on tablet to help? Oh, the music's really cool. Rockin'. Hmm. I'm a little confused, this part. I did kind of skip through the thing, so I, I can't use that on it. Incubator. Can I, like, learn about which area is what? Okay, so I have to figure out something here. Let's explore a little more. Okay, yeah, this has a way smaller symbol thing here. Okay, uh, it, uh, so let's just read Chinrath. I haven't solved the gurney, so I need to find the gurney for Chinrath. So, well, where is the, the gurney and stuff? Okay, um... Including eggs. So there's magma, like a magma area. This is really confusing so far. Um, especially, oh no, I don't want to leave. That looks like a gurney right here. Yeah. So this is Chenrath. How does that help us out, though? So Chenrath is here. 
Jazz within, or sorry, so full is the name I need. Full. So it's tied to full. So how do I know how to spell full? Is there like a way to translate it? Okay guys, welcome back. Yeah, this puzzle took me forever to figure out. I had to have some help from a friend who who had finished the quest. But uh, basically, you have to use these letters to help figure out like what each letter means and then put in the names of the correct god right here with these symbols. I wrote this down already so I would have it. Oops, I actually hit the wrong one. It's gotta be the two symbol, then the A symbol, and then um, one of these, that one. Whenever it clicks in a place, it will make a noise. There we go. Okay, good. I did it right. I was like, I was worried I would screw it up somehow, but okay. Now we can go north as well. Okay. It was weird how like our dot moved on the mini map on that cutscene. So. Let's go in. I don't know what awaits us here. It has to be the end, right? It has to be. Yeah, I have all my combat supplies ready. All that, so I think we're good to go. What's up here? Oh, this is yeah. This looks like a little boss arena. What's there? Oh, it's the dragon from Elite Dungeon. Um. Two. Sorry, I drew a blank for some reason. Okay. I've already fought him, so I think I know his mechanics before. Um, caught up, I'll pray magic. I didn't bring any restores or anything, so I'm going to be a little cautious, but I think we're good. Do it. Oh god, lag. You just have to stay out of melee range. Yeah, it is a little laggy, but not terrible. Oh, the lag. That's the game lag, and not so. First time it's lagged like the entire time, pretty much. He does have a like a range attack and as well, but this one seems actually pretty tame in comparison. I'm gonna take the hit here just to do some extra damage. Um, let's go ahead and heal a little bit, but I don't know what like. Oh, he's doing the hop thing. I don't see anything. I'm worried. Oh, he's healing already. Okay. Okay, this is a different fight, but it's using the same model, I guess. Which is fair. Let's go ahead and go over to the opposite side here so I can kind of see how far out it's going to be. Get out. Oh, why is it so laggy? Oof. We're doing fine, though. I'm not too worried about this fight. I haven't really even taken any damage. Back up again. But yeah, it's being really laggy. I think it's just the world, maybe. Or the animations. Because that was fine until I started the fight. But yeah, you guys have already seen me kill this boss before if you've been watching my streams at all. So... So yeah, unless there's more after this I don't know about. Like, this won't be that hard of a fight. The bomb? No. He's not doing the other animation. That... Oof. Yeah, I need to be a lot closer. I try not to move any more than half because it is like it is making the game lag, but you don't want to be caught in this, so. Oh. I wonder how much damage that would do to me in the um, actual fight. It's a really dangerous hate. Oh yeah, you just learn to avoid that at all costs. But it is kind of I don't know if I'm like okay like with him re reusing a boss like this. It seems kind of lazy, but I get why they would do it. But like maybe they had this planned all along. But um, this one is way easier. It's a way easier version of that boss. So if you've never fought it before, it'd be really cool. But I've killed the main boss too many times to be that worried. I'm just gonna damage my myself here. 
He's not really doing any damage to me. Okay, so now he's starting in the in-game mechanics with that attack. Got it. He's almost dead. Go ahead and start using my prayer now. If I can get the quick KO here before he does much damage to me. I'll be it right here. Bang. Let's see. Arapak. Again, you stand in my way. Again, uh, you throw your life away for beings who would snuff you out in a heartbeat. I'm trying to save the universe, to save creation itself. At the cost of all life on Gilinor. <laughs> I look so awful yeah, with that mask and that outfit. <laughs> Collateral damage. Yeah, this is a war, Moku. A war that spans across all time and space. This is but one world. There are countless others. Without the sacrifice of this world, all the other worlds are doomed to die. So he's trying to, for the greater good, destroy one world to save all the others. Oh, well, yeah, why is it lagging all of a sudden? Uh, there has to be more than uh, one other way. There has to be another way. You're one of the greatest minds on the planet, perhaps in the, the universe. I know how angry uh, you must be, how hurt, how afraid of uh, uh, being bound once again. But you don't have to fight this alone. There's a whole council of people willing to find a solution. Uh, work with us. Oh boy. Ha ha ha. I think we have not tried that. Yeah, so he's saying it like they've already tried and they failed, so... We have pleaded with the Roakin. We have begged them. Worshipped them, fought for them, died for them. We've done everything to placate them. Uh, none of it, and uh, none of it changed a thing. The Elder Gods don't care. They will never care. They will never see our value. Never let us be free. There is no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And make no mistake, we're all desperate creatures before them. So yes, so this world will die, but there a sacrifice will create a universe where no one need fear for their lives from uh, capricious creators. One world for countless others. So there's no uh, reasoning uh, with you, no hope. Uh, that's where you're wrong. What I do here, I do to bring hope to all the worlds. Hope and freedom. I'm sorry, Carepack, you leave me with no choice. Ha ha ha. So yeah, what's he gonna do? Like, are we gonna actually stop him here? Or will he escape, I wonder? I have this. Oh yeah, the eye, right? No, what have you done? Regain control. Hope this is the right choice, though. No! The needle connects you. The needle is mine. You are mine. No, I beg you, not again. Kill me. Kill me, not again. I, like, I do like feel bad for him, though. No, death is denied. You will serve us now. Oh no. I hate that he's under control again. As will those connected to you. Oh, so all of the dragon can. Trying to take them all back. Their dream will serve us. You have achieved your goal. It w uh, we will uh, resolve the rest. You should leave. I do feel really bad about this. What have you done? I was free. And now he's enslaved again. I was free. I'm sorry, I didn't know. But you left me no choice. Yeah, it's not like I wanted to enslave him again. And now, now I shall never have a choice again. Go. 
You will not want to be around for what is to come. What's he gonna do now? What can he do? Is he behind us? Oh no, he's not in there. Yeah, it would have been a nice touch. Wait, time remaining. Yeah, let's just run. I guess we have to get out of here. Here's the entrance, right? Oh. Oh, crap. Is there a way around otherwise? Oh, no. I guess I do have to go the other way. Talk smash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can uh, help me out now. Where, yeah, where are you, Talk? Oh, he's over here. I think I see uh, some dots. Hey, Kiros. What's up? Come on, dude, hurry. Thank you. Um, why do I have to wait for him to talk? We have a time limit. He's just, like, chilling out. Here's stock. This is cutting it uh, way closer than I'd like. There's Carapac. Oh, that corridor. Hurry. Oh god, I'm trying, but he's so slow right now. What? Fall in the corridor. <laughs> I'm like spamming it. It's like I'm getting trolled, he keeps stopping. Anytime I have one of those spawns in front of me, I can't run anymore. He just stops running. I have to like spam click everything. Get out of here. I cut it like way closer than I was comfortable with. Karapak's life was spent fighting to free his people from the Elder God's chains. But in his hubris, he succeeded only in chaining himself and the unwitting Nodon. From below, a great shudder rose. The walls of the chamber began to buckle and crumble. A mountain fell on Karapak's device, annihilating it. Karapak and the World Guardian fled the ruins to avoid the same fate. Hmm. So where was he at? The island of Anachronia was calm and still, blissfully unaware of the rising menace. Then, a gentle rumbling. Slowly, it grew and grew until it felt as if the ground beneath their feet would tear itself apart. The Elder God Fall cleaved through the earth. And in her rage, tore the volcano asunder. So Fool was here on Anachronia. The elder gods were awake. <laughs> and they were not pleased. So are all the gods awake? Like, yeah, a lot of questions here. Whew, okay. Where's Karapak? Is he here with us? What was that? I can't see the volcano anymore in this angle. Okay. So they are awake now. He wants to punch it. <laughs> yeah, we got out of there. It wasn't that furious, honestly. I just had to spam click run. I, like, I just had to run for it. Yeah. So it's all over with, but yeah, what's next, I guess? That is the question. Where do we go from here? <laughs> nice little humor even now. Okay. Oil burner. Okay, well... Okay. That's good to know. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Eros. <laughs> yeah, we managed to beat him. It was a little underwhelming in a way. But it wasn't bad by any means. Yeah.
Yeah, I fought the dragon, exactly. I never really fought Karapak, I just trapped him. But yeah, yeah, I do feel bad about him. But I wonder if the other uh, dragon cannon are still alive and out there. Yeah, he was too uh, determined to do what he was doing. So yeah, like like it is his own fault, but I like I get why he did it. So I'm not like really against him. He doesn't seem like a villain to me. He just has his own ideas for what's right and wrong, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Thok's a good ex like example. He could have been bad. He chose to be a villain, quote unquote. I wouldn't say he chose to be a villain. He chose to do what he thought was right, and he I now he has to deal with the consequences. Um. So yeah. We'll take it from here, Moku. I wonder what the volcano looks like now, but uh, we'll see it. But. Oh, wait, a new item. Power supply, what? Strange device. Oh! Cosmic focus. Prevents sprite focus from dropping below 10%. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a relic, I bet. See anything else from? Okay, it's just the dialogue. Yeah, I just want to it make, yeah, make sure I didn't miss anything. So yeah, we'll just take a look here. Okay. Get through here. I should return to Serenade. You did a good, my friend. You did good. Okay, so I did do everything. Let's go talk to Saren and see what happens here. I may um, clear my inventory in case I get uh, rewards. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, like, bank all of our food and stuff. Toss it in. And up we go. But yeah, I don't know how I'd rate that quest. It was good. It wasn't the best quest I've, like I've ever played. Probably not. Um, I kind of wish I had a battle with uh, Karapak. Yeah, like, make it uh, feel really grand and big, you know? Um, I wish, like, like there was a better way to do that. But, um, uh, otherwise, it was really enjoyable. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Let's see what's left here. It's done. His lab is uh, destroyed and he's been bound to Jazz once again. Um, I didn't want him bound, but he's been contained. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah, that's the price, I guess. To fight the Elder Gods. Okay. Hopefully he'll get it back again. Do I tell her or do I say anything? Oof. This is a tough one. Yeah, let's just keep it quiet. There's no point that I can't change it. Come, you have saved us all. It led us to celebrate. Hey, quest complete. There you have it, guys. So I got some archaeology XP. Um, a combat XP lamp. Cosmic focus. Fox stick override. A Rimmo totem piece and two treasure hunter keys. Okay, so I do know about the uh, totem here. I already have one of the pieces in my bank, I think. But the totem lets us uh, um, charge all of the totems on Anachronia if you have it. So I have two of the pieces. I don't know how to get the other piece. I'll look it up later, but. But yeah, that is the quest, guys. I hope you really enjoyed uh, this video. Um, if you want to see more RuneScape videos, please let me know. Um, yeah, this quest that was uh, solid. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like mind-blowingly awesome. It didn't have a crazy plot twist, really, or anything like that. So it, 
We did learn a lot of history about the game, about magic, about a lot of things. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if we'll do any other quest videos like even this year. It depends like what quests come out and stuff. But um, I think that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys have a great uh, day or night, wh uh, wherever you are. And until next time, have a good one.